What's going on guys? Today I have something to show you. Something that I found on eBay. Um, if any of you are familiar with this plate that I have in my hand right here, um, this is actually the fancier 717 fluid head uh, quick release plate. Um, I've always actually liked the size of this release plate. It's, it's huge compared to the other ones that I've used in the past. Now this right here is something that I found on eBay. It's a custom made uh, especially for the fancier 717 quick release plate. It's a uh, it's a base plate adapter, I guess you want to call it. Pretty much, you can mount this onto anything, and then you're able to mount your camera using the uh, the uh, 717 quick release plate that you already have. Um, it doesn't come with a quick release plate. It, it only includes the base plate. <laughs> so many plates. Um, but yeah, I actually like this because I'm able to. Uh, mount it to anything and it's flush the knob is actually high enough to be able to mount this flush onto whatever surface and uh, you don't have to worry about having to elevate as you can see here it, it comes with a little adapter in the bottom it's a quarter inch to three eighths if you want to use three eighths you can just take off the um, the little adapter and then you can use a three eighths nut um, but here I'm just using a regular quarter inch little nut that I have and I'm mounting it onto the cheese plate this, if you're wondering, is a fig rig that I made. Um, it's a DIY project that I made a couple months ago. I'll post the video on here, as you can see right there. That's the video for this. Now, um, as you can see here, the base adapter is actually flush. And this is how it looks on the cheese plate. I know I keep saying flush and I keep emphasizing on that, but this is because <laughs> I'm excited because the one that I used to use uh, wasn't flush, but I'm going to show you. Let me just install this onto the uh, T1i. That's how it looks. And then it doesn't actually slide on. It more more or less, it, like, it, like it hooks on. You just place it on there and then you tighten the knob so it, it'll like squeeze the plate together and then it won't go anywhere. Um, this actually works out better for some people who use um, shoulder rigs and sometimes there's so many accessories that are in the way so it makes it inconvenient to actually slide in to the actual quick release base plate. So uh, this makes it easier in my opinion. As you can see here, it's not going anywhere. It's sturdy. It's safe. You don't have to worry about your camera falling off of anything. Uh, this is the one that I used to use. This is the Q. This is the Photo Pro QAL 600. Um, and if you don't tell already, the size is very small compared to the other one. This one you can also snap in, but it also slides in. Has the option to do both. Um, let me just compare in size so you guys can see the difference. There you go. The Photo Pro is a lot smaller. But I actually prefer the uh, fancier 717. I feel like the bigger one is a little more safe or like it feels sturdier. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the same thing. Uh, the only thing I didn't like, as you can see here, you see the knob isn't flush with the actual adapter. So if you put it flush to any uh, surface, the knob isn't accessible. Like it doesn't let you tighten it or loosen it, which is an inconvenience, huge inconvenience. Every time I had to mount it, I actually had to put something on the bottom to uh, elevate it to be able to use the knob when I uh, had it, but uh, it, it was just an inconvenience. It definitely worked. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it, but I, the only complaint I did have about it was that. But other than that, guys, this is pretty much it. If you're interested in this uh, base adapter, I'll have the link in the description, uh, and that's pretty much it. Well, guys, like always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe, and also you can follow me on Twitter or add me on Facebook. Until next video, guys, peace.